Carlos guiding me in. Good morning, everyone. Guess what we're doing today? This car is due for an oil change. I've put about 5,000 miles on it, and I know there's a varying consensus on like when you should oil change your oil. But I know I'm getting low on oil, so I'm just gonna use it as an indicator to change it. It's also due for one just because I drive pretty hard. So as usual, we have Carlos. Carlos. We have <laughs> Nutbuster Daniel. Nutbuster Daniel. <laughs> what, what else? We're missing one guy. Where the hell is he? Before we dive into this oil change, I wanted to share you guys a video that we made for Tuna Crate. It's a commercial video that it's only like 27 seconds long. I wanted to share with you guys. Um, also, take advantage of this one because it's a Paul Walker theme box or crate that doesn't come back ever. It's a really good one. It comes with a snapback, really cool shirts, a poster, air fresh, and a bunch of other goodies. So, we're going to roll it and then we're going to get back to the oil change. Ready? Go. Cool, so oil change. We're gonna pop the lid. Mike calls this the lid. The lid? We'll pop the lid. We'll pop the, the bonnet. Lid. <laughs> the bonnet. Got the bonnet open. Damn, it is warm. Yeah, it's warm. So we're just gonna pop it open, lift it up, come and on, then we're leave it kind of uh, hanging. Oh yeah, come on, where are the gains at, bro? Come on, Daniel, you hit where the, the gym more than me. Where are the gains at, bro? Dipstick. You're a dipstick, Daniel. How low is it? God damn it. How low is it? I don't wanna talk about that. Should we cry right now? Yeah. Take a moment of silence for how much oil is in Mike's. It's at the low mark. I already made that disclaimer. Race car. It's, Wait, it's semi dark. An accurate it's not that dirty. Not that, you know. <laughs> Button. We got Master Mechanic Daniel. Nut Buster. Bust the nut. Morning rub out. Hey, you guys, check this out. That's pretty cool, right? Tuna Grey, homie. So, on the GTR specifically, you have to remove a couple panels. On the super, super easy. But we're going to move this. Front panel to remove the center panel. Actually, just loosen this up, and then we'll be able to get to the drain plug, which is right here. Handy dandy drain plug. You guys never ever strip this. Otherwise, you're screwed. Ever. Do we make ourselves clear? Never. You don't even ever like, strip. If it. you do that, you're screwed. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, there's always ways to replace it, but you just don't want to. But it's just mess way more it. expensive than taking your uh, time. Stripping the head is bad, but. Uh, cross threading the bolt is, is really bad. So whenever you guys ever like put any bolt in anything, hand, and then if you feel any resistance, back up, always. The specific oil we're using, I used to run 15W40, or sorry, 5W40, but this time I'm gonna run 15W50. We're having heat issues in the summer, so hopefully combat this. We're gonna run it for a little while. If this, it doesn't work out very well, we'll just easily replace it again, so it's not a big deal. By the way, did you know you can buy oil on fucking Amazon? Daniel? You can buy everything on You can a probably buy a person on Amazon if you want to. A person, you say. A person. A Carlos, you say. We could buy a spare Carlos. A Just spare Carlos. And we could put it in the trunk. I'll link the oil in the description below if you guys need to. We're doing a mobile one. Pretty sweet one. Highly recommend it. And Daniel bought... Mobile one? This isn't mobile one. This one. Oh. Yeah. I was like, this is... And this little jigger right here. This is called a noose. Also known as a dog catcher. You can just kind of loop it around like Subi and just kind of take him with you. Yeah, just, just take ten? Off, yeah. Probably ten. Y'all want to see a ratchet? <laughs> right there. <laughs> hey, look, the um, the splitter in the previous video is real. I mean, the, sorry, the lip, really nice. And I have not, not scratched it yet. I air up so high for no damn reason. A couple of things that you want to do before you actually start like draining your oil. At least I like to do it. It's prepping our oil filter. You always want to lube up around the edges. All the lube? Yeah, lube. Lube is good. <laughs> so you get a little bit of lube, <laughs> and you take it, and you just dip your finger in the lube. Or just lick your finger and lube it. Or, or you can lick your finger either way. A little spit. You lick it before you stick it, man. <laughs> well, <laughs> Mr. Michael, what are you teaching these guys? No, but on a real note, you just take a little bit of oil, yeah. rub it around here. I don't know if you're supposed to, like... Well, I like to I actually just put, fill it up. Oh, you fill it I up? I fill it up. Oh, I don't fill it up. And then I put up. it in. The only the reason you can't fill it up on this one is because it's, it's like an angle. this angle. Yeah, so. Same with my car. Yeah, so, so you want to, what I'm going to do is just fill it up just a little bit just to get some lubrication inside and then ring it around right around here. Right around, right, right around, around, around the edge. Right around the rim, rim job. I mean, ring job. What? Can't even reach the oil. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Damn, that, that is, is fucking thick. thick. Yeah. Hi. Hi. What are you doing, Intruder? Good morning. Gonna work on the GTR with us or what? So 
<laughs> He's got lube on his finger. I got lube on my finger. You uh, ready, Mike? Bend over. I got uh, you. You want to loosen my plug? <laughs> Okay. You, you yeah. Want to do it? Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Sick. It's gonna be this ratchet way, so counterclockwise. Uh huh. And so just slip it, it in. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure it fits in, so there's no slip. Just slip it in and twist it, and then turn it this way. Pop up. Okay. And then you're gonna crack it open just a little bit, cause oil's gonna spew out. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> this way. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can do it. Do you I can do it. Do you want a breaker bar? Oh, oh, I'm scared to see how tight the oil filter is in this case. Oh, shit. If we can't do this, we get the double wrench. Okay, I feel it moving. I just don't wanna. You just don't want to strip the shit out of it. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh my god, my knuckles. You're just going to push towards Carlos's push, push head like it. you're punching him. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Like yeah, your yeah, dreams. There you go. And Make then I'll bring it back for a ratchet. There you uh -huh. go. Keep going. You're doing quarter turns. You're good. Go ahead. So keep going. There you go. Yeah, there you oh, go. there we go. That's a long turn. Yeah. Then we'll do it by hand pretty soon. Oh, we're going to okay, that hand. So this is probably hand loosable. Hand loosable. Hand loosable. It's hand loosable. Grammar. Sorry, English is my second language, dude. Give me a break. Asian power. So we managed to get this one loose. So now you can pretty much do it by hand, but once you do it, it's gonna go like in your face. And worse comes to worse, if you drop the drain plug, there, drop is a, there is a thing in here. Yeah. So just drop okay. it, yeah. we got it. The faster you unscrew this, the better, because you're gonna have like oil dripping down all your body. Unless you're into that. But just, uh, <laughs> just, just. Oh, she's yeah. getting ready. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. Oh, God, I keep it PG, jeez. Oh, no. You got no, this. No, you're good, you're good. You got this. I hear it. Okay, good, like, good. perfect. No. Perfect. Here's a rag, just in case. Thank you. Get the bolt in here. Hey, we should explain the vico viscosity numbers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the first number. So we say the first number is 15, right? It's going to be the viscosity of 15 degree. Viscosity Fahrenheit. means thickness. If yeah, you thickness. don't know that. So at this is all uh, not this is all uh, Celsius, not Fahrenheit. So the viscosity, the thickness, at 15 degrees, the coldest, and then this one is at 50 at the other number, which would be the same thing, viscosity, at the, the hottest. The, yeah, oh. at the uh, 50 Fahrenheit. Oh, I'm sorry, Celsius. 50 degrees. And the W is weather. That's pretty much what you're looking at. So if you're doing cold weather, you want to run the numbers a lot lower. You run a really hot weather, run the top oh, number shit, a lot no, higher. Gonna... Basically, if it's a low number, like <laughs> 0 W40, something like that, it's like very not thick. Not very thick oil, and like this 1550, it's like syrup. You don't want to run your oil super thin. This is why the viscosity is so important. And Scousity. depending on weather conditions too. Weather conditions. Because you don't want your you don't want your oil to like get stuck at the bottom of your fucking oil pan every day. Like after it you, fucking snows and shit. I guess if you live in a really cold climate, don't you probably don't want to use 15. You want to probably use yeah. zero. <laughs> yeah. Drain plug. Um, it's really important to keep all your seals clean. Any debris in the middle between any seal is gonna cause a lot of issues later on with leakage. So here it has actual ring, you see that? Not really, you can't you really see, it? see it. Well, there's a ring in between oh, the nut, right? Okay. If this is worn out and not, not nice anymore, you guys just wanna replace it. This one looks pretty good. So we just wanna clean the surface, put this aside, and then later on we'll stick it back in the plug. We're pretty much at dribbles now. So a couple things you can do. Uh, clean up the dribble, put the drain plug back in so that way you can work on the filter or you can let it dribble with the catch can. But I need this catch can area over here, as you can see. <laughs> um, the oil filter is right there, the little white one right back there, right? We can remove this, but the problem is the this panel is connected to our front lip, which means we have to remove the bumper. So what a lot of techs end up doing is just kind of pulling this panel down unscrewing this by hand kind of letting it drip it shouldn't be that much oil inside because we've drained most of it for a pretty long time so i put some rags here and then the catch here just in case it drips but it shouldn't be that much oil no. so what i like about my camera had a k and n but then the good part it was a vertical filter oh so the k and n's have a um a, what is it called a nut a like nut, a nut thing, yeah it's just like a nut like a neck it's a so one inch nut all you do is just use a wrench or a ratch or whatever the fuck you want to do it's so easy to just go hoop, doo -doo, and you're done this you, one you've got to have How's grip How's this sound? <laughs> Come on, Mike. Lick it, lick Mike. Lick it, lick it. You won't. Lick it. Ugh. How nasty was that? You licked it? I it's sweet. Hey. It's sweet, huh? What a yeah. champ. It's weird. It, it's like... Try it, Carlos. Oh. Try it. Try it. Jesus, we should re-lube it, though. <laughs> All right, let's re-lube it. Re-lube that shit. <laughs> oh, this one smells nasty. This one smells just go, like that nasty go. medicine, dude. Come on. <laughs> Get it over and done with let's see it. Smells like Pepto? <laughs> oh, it smells like some old Robitoxin. Ready? On three. One, two, three, go. <gasps> and, and now and now we can say we licked uh, the same rim. <laughs> <laughs> it was not bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. 
cancer. <laughs> you just see me later on here, guys. I don't feel good. Hi, guys. My balls are falling off. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> uh, hi, Ossifer. Hi, Ossifer. Hi, Ossifer. Have you been drinking today? I drank some oil. Yeah. Ready? Cheers. Just kidding. <laughs> Damn. So you're going to put it in here. I'll show you guys. So same, uh, same thing as before. Put it in. Do not cross thread. So just put in real careful. And just spin it real slow. There's no rush to do this at all. You getting dick pics? Not yet. Not yet. Send dick pics. Send dick pics. Guys, did you really get a fucking dick pic? We need to be at 25 foot pounds <laughs> on this bolt right here, you or else, me, or else we lose fucking 60 horsepower. <laughs> so what you want to do is be no, at 25. It was 600 horsepower. Oh, that's what I said. So we'd only be like a fucking Prius, dude. 20 horsepower kind of shit. So we just gotta go right here, put it in, and listen. Listen. Oh. 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 That's the sound you want to hear. The click. The click. The click of the wrist. So Matt scramble to finish. Got to get home to daughter and wife. So we are trying to get everything in correctly. And then I got to head home to the baby. Cheers. We are getting close to finishing. Everything's tightened on the bottom. Torque down the specs. Oil filters in really nice and tight. Um, we're gonna fill in, fill the engine with, uh, what is this, 15W50. We'll see how it runs. I mean, if it's not good, we'll just switch it out. Clean your caps. Always clean your caps. A lot of debris, so you clean everything before. Oh, that's dirty here. Clean the caps. Um, clean your opening. <clears throat> clean your dipstick. And then you're gonna put this in. Funnels are great. If you don't have a funnel, you can technically use newspaper. It freaking sucks. Or if you're a baller, you could just do it without a funnel or anything. Or just, 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 no, just cut it open. Yeah, the car needs oil. Just kind of pour it on top. Four. Three, two, one. Happy New Year! <laughs> okay, good luck everybody! It's gonna be five. Computer says oil level okay. So we'll let it run for a bit. Check it. If you want your uh, car to run a lot cooler, you sprinkle a little bit of water on top of your intake. So that way it goes directly in and makes it cool. It makes it faster. Logic. <laughs> Yo, disclaimer, don't listen to what we say because yeah. you you'll, you'll like mess up your car. That's on you. <laughs> yeah, don't do not do that. So I was, um, the information that I learned, I learned from Fat Dong, so it's gotta be right. He's never let me down. I've gone pretty far in life just using his advice. Oh, I like to dip my stick three times. We need more oil. So we'll dump a little bit more inside. All right, guys, that's the oil change. We're running 15W50, a little bit thicker than usual, but we'll run and see how it works. If not, we'll jump back to the 5W40. But if you guys need any information on this one, description below uh, for all the information and links where I bought stuff. But remember, guys, I, we joke a lot, so don't take everything as fact and try it because you'll probably fuck up your car. We had a great time, but I got to go home. Thanks for watching. Check me out on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Smart from WX. Peace out. Later. Ah, I'm <laughs>